Hello and good evening to wherever you may be watching. Thank you for joining SPI Logistics in this week's market conditions. After a bustling January, freight markets focus on gradual rebalancing rather than rapid growth. Despite carriers experiencing weaker pricing power, freight demand remained strong in February, with expected growth from Chinese imports on the West Coast and in Texas and Florida's produce season. The construction sector is poised to benefit from federal funds, and home builders anticipate a robust year, while the Port of New York and New Jersey noted the third busiest start to the year on record. The Bank of America's truckload demand indicator for shippers reached its second highest level in 80 weeks, indicating optimism for the future. However, excess capacity remains a challenge in fully rebalancing the market. In addition, the Conference Board Consumer Confidence Index registered trademark fell in February, reflecting ongoing uncertainty about the U.S. economy. While the post-pandemic trend of pricing long-term rates low is slowing, 2024 is expected to be another tough year for supply chains. We will take a quick break and we'll be right back with market data. Welcome back to Market Conditions hosted by SPI Logistics, your trustworthy news source for the logistics industry. On this week rate data, the National Truckload Index price inclusive of fuel fell $0.06 cents to $2.21 per mile. The National Truckload Index line haul rate, which removes fuel, decreased $0.05 cents to $1.58 per mile. For reference, the lowest spot rate in 2019 was $1.47. Contract rates, which are baseline haul rates like the NTIL, remained at $2.33 per mile. Note. Spot rates have given back some of the recent increases, but look for them to increase further into 2024 as capacity burnoff continues. In other news this week, Blizzard hits California and Nevada, shutting down I-80 and leaving thousands without power. The Conference Board Consumer Confidence Index fell in February to 106.7, breaking three consecutive months of gains. Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration data on the net changes of carrier authorities shows that a greater number of carriers have left the industry than have entered every month since October 2022. The Outbound Tender Volume Index, which measures national freight demand, is up 11.71% on a year-over-year -year basis. The Port of New York and New Jersey recently reported that January 2024 was the third busiest start to the year on record, lagging behind only the incredible growth of 2021 and 2022. Meanwhile, on the opposite coast, the Port of Los Angeles, the busiest port in the U.S., saw its second-best January, surpassed only by 2022. BNSF Railway, one of the largest freight railroads in the U.S., has reportedly furloughed hundreds of employees in Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, and Texas. Werner seeks review of $100 million nuclear verdict. Over $1.5 million in goods and a semi-truck and trailer recovered in Riverside County bust of a massive retail theft ring. Link below. And that's everything we have in this week's segment. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week.